And while I have been educated in the school of modern medicine, the epitome of scientific knowledge, I cannot deny the energy I feel emanating from the spirits of those who are ill, and from that which dwells deep within me. I soften my eyes, I relax my ears, I quiet my mind and allow the energy to permeate my very being. The spirits raise my skills to a higher plane. And I awaken to my true self. Oh, it's no use. I, I can't understand any of this. It says the five-pointed star is a symbol of life. But when I look at it, it simply reminds me of a piece of okra in a bowl of gumbo. I guess the healing touch just isn't for an ordinary person like me. This door is no good. It's been totally warped by the snow. I guess it can't be helped. This hospital isn't exactly new. Well, this door isn't used very often, so it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. I suppose we should still call and have it repaired. Is something wrong? Uh, oh, my... my stomach. Director? Director! Let's see. Your amylase count is good, your pancreas is functioning normally, your white blood cell count is fine, and I don't see any problems with your immune system. Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> Just let me know if you think you're recovering too quickly. I can change some of these numbers and extend your vacation. No, that's okay, Doctor. I'd like to return to work as soon as possible. Although, once I've fully recovered, I do have another favor to ask. Marcus! Director Hoover just collapsed! What? He has multiple tumors in his small intestine, and they've already reached a fairly advanced stage. I've stabilized him with an IV and a blood transfusion, but he needs to be operated on right away. Why did he let his condition get so bad? If only he had taken better care of himself. He kept all his troubles and worries bottled up inside, not wanting to burden anyone with his problems. Standing around wondering why won't do him any good. We need to focus on the procedure. The CAT scan we took earlier has confirmed the presence of multiple tumors. The objective of this operation is to extract these tumors. It's progressed this far. I'm worried that there may be further complications. I'm concerned about his physical condition. He's not young, and this operation will be stressful. <sighs> You're the only ones who can help him. Don't worry. You can count on us. That's right. He's in good hands. I'll do whatever it takes. Let's start the procedure. Let's begin the operation. The tumors are located in the small intestine. Good luck. The area is a little inflamed. I'll get the anti-inflammatory. Use the syringe to inject the anti-inflammatory directly into the inflamed area. Inflammation treatment complete. Let's continue with the remaining. We found the tumor. Let's use the power procedure here. The tumor has been removed. Please treat the area where you made the excision. It looks like that's everything, but his vitals aren't stabilizing. I wonder if the preliminary scan missed anything. I'm preparing the magnification tool. Use it to search the area thoroughly. There's one over here? It's progressed much further than we expected. We need to extract them all. The tumor's been extracted. Now to treat the area around the excision. When we're done here, we should check out some other areas. Signs of tumors are decreasing. It's spread much more than we anticipated. There are no 
no further signs of tumors, please remember to treat the remaining areas. His vitals are stable. I think we're okay now. I was pretty worried at one point, though. Please close him up. The operation is complete. I'm sure the director will recover quickly. Great work, everyone. Well, we were able to remove all the tumors from your small intestine, sir. You should be up and around in about a week or so. But it is unclear whether or not the procedure was successful. Yes? My mother also suffered from tumors. It appears the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Sir, I strongly recommend that you take some time off to recuperate. Perhaps you could undergo treatment somewhere in a warmer climate. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Blaylock. But I've already made up my mind. As you know, I have been planning to close this hospital for some time now. Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock, you two should return to Concordia. Say, have you heard? They're building a new university hospital in Fairbanks. Knowing that a top-rate facility will be located nearby makes my decision much easier to live with. This hospital and I have grown old together. I believe it's time for both of us to retire. <laughs>